In this video, we're going to take a look at some terminology with the periodic table, as well as our families. So let's start out with some terminology. The first one we need to talk about is group. So groups are those columns down the periodic table. And so as we go across the periodic table, we actually number them 1 through 18. So 18 is our last group, 1 is our first group, and they are going down columns. Periods are going across rows. So we have seven periods here in our periodic table. Now, if we take a look at metals, nonmetals, and metalloids, all of the metals are in yellow. So these are all our metals. Our nonmetals are in pink, so those are found to the right of the periodic table. And then those that are in green are our metalloids. Okay. If we take a look as well at our elements, any of the ones in black are solid at room temperature. Okay. Those that are in red, so that is mercury and bromine, are the only two that are liquid at room temperature. And then all of these ones on the right side that are blue are gases at room temperature. So that's really helpful to know because if you're writing a balanced chemical equation and the reaction is happening at room temperature, then you can take the states of these elements and you will know what they are for your chemical reaction. A couple of other things. So valence electrons are related to group numbers. So we know that. So all the elements in group one have one valence electron. All the elements in, in group two have two valence electrons. And then going across, so th 13 has three, 14 has four, and so on, all the way up to 18, which has eight valence electrons. Transition metals are a bit different, so we'll talk about that in a different video. If we look at the periods, this tells us how many main energy levels or number of shells that we have. So for period one, we have one shell. For period two, we have two. And all the way down to period seven, we have seven main energy levels. Okay, so now let's talk about our families on the periodic tables. We've got six main families that we want to take a look at. Those elements in group one are known as the alkali metals. Okay, so we need to know group one elements are alkali metals. Those that are in groups three through 12, these are our transition metals. Okay. And then if we take a look at group 17, these are our halogens. Group 18 is our noble gases. And then down here at the bottom where the star is, it actually fits into the periodic table where the star is here, but we have them separate. These are our lanthan oids, or we also call them lanthanides, uh, depends on where you are in the world, but IB uses lanthanoids, so we'll use that. And then the ones below are called the actinoids. Okay, so you should know each of these different families, be able to identify where they are on the periodic table and what their names are. That's it for this video. Let's move on to our next task.